Morning, friends. Scott Brookins here. Wanted to uh, share a kind of a fun story with you and have you think of um, how we look at things that we go through. You know, it's our perspective of what happens to us or events that we're involved in and how we um, enjoy things or not enjoy things. So what's the best restaurant in Romania? <laughs> well, you need some background story on that. My first mission trip with our ministry overseas was to Romania in uh, December of 1996. Um, to give you some background, you know, Romania was under the communist rule in the Soviet Union, even though they were a little bit under, you know, independent under uh, Ceausescu, but, you know, they got their freedom in December of 89. And so when I was there in 96, things were still just turning around, you know, with their freedom, uh, things that were uh, mo coming from the Western culture and moving into uh, Romania. And so I was invited to go with an American pastor and a gentleman that had um, defected from Romania and then was going back for a second time to see his family. So I went there and did a week of, of ministry, did concerts and sharing the gospel uh, in uh, some small towns, some small villages in Romania. And then after New Year's, a couple of days later, I was there about 10 days, we were leaving uh, out of Bucharest. And so we did like an evening service in this village, and then we took an, an all-night uh, train ride back into Bucharest, which is a huge city. Um, and this was in January. There's a lot of snow, and so we're, we're walking through about knee-deep snow trying to find this one apartment complex where this uh, gentleman's aunt lived. And we finally found her and uh, were able to kind of rest and clean up a little bit. Um, and then we, we wanted to get a meal before we flew back to America. And we, you know, we'd been up all night and were hungry. So the, um, I think it was a nephew or a cousin, yeah, it was a nephew, uh, we, a young man, maybe 18, 19 years old. So we asked him to take us to the nicest restaurant in Bucharest so we could get a nice meal. And we were, you know, going to buy him a meal. And, um, and so we, we went walking through the snow again and, and into the underground uh, tube, you know, the subway and came up into, you know, the busy downtown area of Bucharest. And uh, we walk in and he takes us to McDonald's. Now, McDonald's was a new thing in Bucharest, Romania in 1996. Well, to us in America or Western, Western culture, McDonald's is McDonald's, right? Maybe you go there with your kids or when you're in a pinch or maybe you avoid it altogether. Um, but he took us into McDonald's and it was about 10 o'clock in the morning and we were starving and tired and it's like, okay, you know. And so it had a very limited menu. So we ordered, you know, a Big Mac and a a cup of coffee and a coke and fries and and so we found a place to sit and we bought this this young boy i think two big macs and fries and a coke and you know to us it was just mcdonald's it tasted almost exactly the same as in america um, but we watched this young boy just love th what he was eating you know, and we asked him, you know, why did you bring us here? And he said, this is a restaurant I've heard about for the last several years, and I've always wanted to be here, and I never, hey, Jude, nice to see you, and I never um, thought I could afford to come to McDonald's. And so he was just loving this meal. And at one point he said, I wish I, wish I could take a meal back to my mom. Um, but you know, it'd be cold and they didn't have microwave ovens back then. And, and it was just really interesting because our perspective was we wanted a little nicer restaurant, um, for kind of our last meal there. And, but he took us to McDonald's and so it was McDonald's, but in his eyes, in his perspective, it was a glorious meal, a chance to eat at a icon of Western culture and he was loving it. And and so I want us to encourage you today and me to change our perspective and our thinking of situations that we're in. You know, it could be that we're at a doctor's appointment and, you know, maybe it's just a routine checkup and it's, you know, the doctor's running late and, you know, gosh, we're getting frustrated and don't know whether to leave and we're getting mad. And 
But, you know, maybe the doctor's running late because he's taking care of someone's problem that needs to see him and have more time with that doctor. Or maybe we're at the DMV, we're getting our license renewed. And, you know, there's usually a long line and the numbers. And But, you know, there's probably somebody there that's getting their license for the very first time. And they're excited about that whole process. And so their perspective is totally different than you and I. You know, and we met people in Eastern Europe where when they got their freedom, they were able to travel to other countries. They went from maybe uh, Czech Republic or Slovakia, and they went into Vienna, you know, Austria for the, you know, Western culture. And the first time they walked into a grocery store, their eyes just, they couldn't believe because everything in that you could imagine was available where they came from the culture because of the communism and the, and the lack of supplies where there wasn't grocery stores that had everything. They were usually empty or if they had things, there was a long line to, to buy the bread or the meat. And so their perspective was totally changed. And so as you go about your day, um, maybe you're getting frustrated about a situation you're in or, or maybe you're waiting at a, a place, just try to think that maybe there's somebody else there that's enjoying the situation. You know, it'd be like two guys watching a, a sports game and, you know, they're rooting for each of the teams. And so their perspective is totally different, right? One team's winning. So one guy's, you know, yelling and happy and cheerful and the other guy's frustrated because his team's losing. They're at the same event, but their perspective is totally different. So I just want to challenge us that um, our perspective matters in our thinking. It's our choice of thinking um, that influences our life and how we respond to life. So um, maybe next time you go to McDonald's, you'll have a different perspective and you'll think of a young boy in, in Romania years ago that uh, thought it was the best meal that he could ever have. And so I encourage you have an amazing day. Go inspire others to do the same. God bless.